Hey there guys, thanks for being here again watching my video. So this is Lightworker Laura and um, this time I'm going to be coaching you on this topic of having the motivation to leave the narcissist out of your life. So as a coach and as a spiritual coach, uh, I get these downloads, of course, uh, every single day when I'm listening to my intuition, to my spirit guides, to angels, to God. I'm listening to the universe. Uh, I always get information and downloads, so that is where these videos also come from and my posts. So um, today I want to encourage you to have the motivation, to have the strength, to have the knowledge um, enough to be able to leave the narcissist out of your life because, you know, it, it's not an easy task. Especially if you have been with that person for a long time. It's definitely not an easy task. And you might have this attachment to them. But uh, deep within your heart, in your soul, within your spirit, you know that they are toxic for you. They are the wrong person for you. So what you're being called to do is really just uh, to let them go and um, to be able to heal your life, to be living your life fully, you know, being fully you, honoring, accepting your needs, honoring and accepting yourself completely without the other person, you know. So as I've mentioned in my former videos, I have made some videos about the topic of love and relationships. So, uh, <clears throat> according to that, you know, the ideal relationship is about two people coming together and both of them are taking care of themselves and they are not draining the other person out. So, uh, the narcissist is, what they are doing is they are draining you out. They are always draining you out with uh, their troubles or, you know, anything that has ever happened to them. Uh, because you're an empath or a high-sensitive person or both, uh, they completely just use you. They use you as a supply to satisfy their needs. Basically, you are parenting them. And uh, basically, you are just acting like their therapist. So this is, of course, not okay. In an ideal relationship, this is not supposed to be happening. You know, you're supposed to be standing on your own two feet and um, not pouring any pain onto the other person. So you must take care of yourself first and they should be taking care of themselves first. But they are not doing that. They are just using you as, as the medicine, as the doctor, you know. And... Um, this is what I want you to comprehend as your coach. And uh, don't forget that you can always work with me one-on-one -on -one privately as well, uh, if you're interested. So do reach out to me if you want to do that. So you can always book my free consultation call first, so you don't have to book me for a paid session offhand. So it's completely up to you what you want to do. So um, I would be there to help you and guide you uh, to be able to move on from this situation. And don't forget that I also have an online course on this topic as well. But yeah, so um, what I want you to really understand is that you deserve better, okay? You deserve somebody who is really wanting to get to know you as a person with your whole history with all of your feelings with with everything that you are you know you deserve that you don't deserve to be like an object to anybody so 
if you you're watching this video likely you have the, the toxic narcissist um, in your life still and you want to be getting rid of them so de you're definitely at the right place and um, that is just one of the basic things that I want to tell you is that um, it is not an ideal relationship that, you, that you're in if you are <clears throat> in a relationship with them um, it doesn't matter of course who it is who the narcissist is but it's harder if you are in a relationship with them it's a lot harder because you have that emotional attachment and or like for example if it was your parent or somebody you cared for in your childhood for example so you have to be letting go of letting go of that person emotionally as well so of course it's a lot easier if it's just somebody like a random person or uh, for example at your workplace because you can always leave the workplace and that is what we will be working on as well in the coaching I would be helping you and guiding you and supporting you to be able to move on from that situation no, no matter what it is so uh, <clears throat> this is just what I want to <laughs> share with you guys today so yeah you deserve a lot better it is not a good situation it is not healthy it is toxic and um, you have to learn how to take care of yourself first you have to learn how to heal your inner child first because likely your inner child is hurt uh, and you just want to be nurturing to this narcissistic person but that is just a toxic cycle it's not healthy at all so you need to be giving that nurturing for yourself instead and to the people who actually value you giving that nurturing because as a as as an hsp or an empath uh you have so much to give you have a big heart you have a lot of empathy and kindness but you are just giving it out to the wrong people. You know, you have to be giving yourself first and to the right people, to the correct people. Um, it's, it's no use if you're just giving it away to somebody who does not deserve it or, you know, does not value it, does not understand it even. Well, the narcissist is is very happy to <laughs> have it. Of course, it's it's very happy. He, he or she is very happy to receive all of the love and care that you give. But it's not going anywhere. You know, they they take it, and it makes them feel like superior or something like that. It gives some satisfaction because their inner inner child needs a lot of healing. Their inner child needs all of that love and comfort that you can give to them. So they just take and take and take, you know, and you're being left out just cold. You know, you're being left out, drained out. So what you need to do is just, you need to call your power back and have faith and confidence within yourself. Again, you know, um, to really love yourself instead of them because they are not loving you they are just using you the narcissists they they just use people they are not able to really love anybody because they don't love themselves either anyone who doesn't love themselves cannot love others you need to have self-respect self-love first you need to know how to take care of yourself first before you can give that to others Okay, so this is uh, another powerful lesson that I want to teach you and that I want to share with you guys with this, with this video. So uh, in my coaching, we would be going through all the st steps and tools, of course, uh, for you to get to that point, you know, that you would be able to just live free and fully happy, fully safe, knowing that uh, your life is actually happy, <laughs> your life is actually stable and you don't have to be living in constant fear and insecurity and, um, you know, just 
thinking about how the narcissist is feeling because usually we tend to do that. You know, we, we think about others. And if you're in love with a narcissist, of course, it is genuine love that you are giving to them, but they are not giving it back to you. And it is just leaving you empty and cold and drained out. So I'm sure that you know how this feels, if, <laughs> especially if you have been with them for many years, for example. So what you need to know is that it is not your fault. It is not your fault. You are just following your feelings, your heart, and you have been um, wanting to be healing this person. You have wanted to support this person. You have wanted to help this person in every way possible. And they managed to completely make you think that they love you too. But the case is that they they just cannot love anyone you know because they don't love themselves so it's not possible they are just attached to you and they think of you like uh, like sort of like a mother or a father figure in a sense they just <clears throat> want all of the love and compassion and all of the amazing things that you are they want for themselves you know they might even want to be like you and I'm sure that deep down they are they would be they would be a very fantastic person but they just need so much healing you know their inner child needs a lot of healing and before they admit that and before they work on it you know, nothing's going to change. It's just going to be staying that way. And they just keep on using you as their supply, which is just not okay in, in any way. So I have been there so many times, you know, in my life. And that is a big part of the reason why I'm here now as a coach. Because... I know so much about them and I've been dealing with them so much that I made a lot of mistakes when it came to these facts. You know, I, I should have known, but I have learned during the years and um, I can say that now I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm doing pretty well as I'm here helping others with these things as well. <clears throat> But yes, so you deserve happiness, okay? You, de you deserve to be happy. You, de you deserve to be living safe, you know, and in complete power, strength, harmony, peace. You know, you deserve to feel loved and you are loved. You are enough. You are not crazy, no matter what the narcissist tells you. No matter what they tell you, you are not crazy, okay? They have the problem. They need healing. And you also might need some healing. Especially if you have let them abuse you. You will need some healing. And I hope that you're doing that. And I'm here to help if you need more help. And... Um, you just need to remember that you deserve love. You deserve happiness, okay? And that is like the core of the whole thing, you know? That you take your power back and, and, and you know that you deserve to be happy. So you don't need the narcissist to fulfill, fulfill you in any way. We don't need people to fulfill us. We don't need people to complete us. We are already complete and enough with everything that we are. So this is just what I wanted to share with you guys today. And, you know, if you're wondering if you're dealing with a narcissist or not, you can always come to me for help and we will get to the bottom of things. But likely 
if you are an empath or high sensitive person, you're watching this video, uh, likely your intuition is correct if, if it's if if it's your intuition that's telling you that you're dealing with a narcissist, likely it is correct. So follow those feelings. Your soul is speaking to you, your heart is speaking to you, your spirit is is uh, trying to speak as well. And um, every essence of you is telling you that you're dealing with the wrong person, with a toxic person. And deep down you know all the facts that you should know, but likely you're not listening to them and likely you're not even noticing them so that is why i'm here to tell you to teach you to talk to you um we are all love and light but they are just so hurt you know they are just using other people because they don't know anything else they are sick and they need healing. So I really wish you a lot of uh, emotional and mental and spiritual growth. And uh, know that you can always come to me if you want more assistance. So um, I hope this motivates you to leave them to hear this today. And feel free to... Feel free to watch this video over and over and over again uh, whenever you need a reminder of things, how they really are. You don't need to be crying alone. You don't need to be feeling alone because you're not alone with these things. And um, just sending you so much love and light, you know, and um, may you be protected and happy at all times in your life so you can always get out of the situation you can always have that strength you can always have that motivation and uh, self-confidence to get out of the toxic situation and move on you know to heal your life to start over it's always possible miracles are always possible there and they're always happening every single day when you just let them okay love and light Namaste.